Welcome back to Into the Breach, episode 18. So, last time we started this new mission, sorry, this new game, new run, with the mechs that do self damage. And we successfully beat the island that looked the easiest without losing any pilots. Um, we did a perfect run of all objectives, although we did lose a couple of buildings along the way and gained a bit of power back. So, our power's back at the starting level of 5. We've not managed to get it up to the, up to the top because when well, we did a perfect run, instead of choosing the plus two power from the corporation, I chose this amazing looking weapon they offered us instead. Single use, but does four damage, or we've got it on plus one, so right now, five damage. That's just going to be fun. So, the next question is what island do we do next? Here we have burrowers, fireflies, Scorpions, Scarabs, and the the Regian Scion. Hmm. Firefly leader though, which isn't too bad for the leader. There'll be pits of acid or pools of acid. There'll be opportunities for double damage. It's not bad. We're still only doing one damage with uh, our primary weapon here. We're doing two damage with our primary weapon here. Obviously, self damage aside on both of those. So the acid will help us kill enemies, although we've also got our own acid projector. On this island we have similar, but they've all got armor, and the blobbers. Oh god, I hate blobbers. Um, more importantly, the armor means the, although we on this island we got the, uh, I forget what it's called, the scion that gives the enemies plus one health. And on a couple of occasions we were able to ignore it for a few turns, either because we couldn't get it, or because we had to attack enemies first, and it wasn't a big deal. We were still able to get kills off by doing 3 damage or 2 damage instead of the normal 2 or 1. But if they got armor, our weapons just don't even do damage. So, you know, this hydraulic legs attack would, would hit an enemy that's armored, do nothing at all. It was just push him. It kind of defeats the purpose. Well, obviously the Mercury Fist is going to be uh, good, good for one attack. It's only a single use, uh, despite armor. But I'm kind of tempted to leave that until we've upgraded the actual damage output of our weapons. Because that way, if we don't get the opportunity to kill the Scion straight up, we can still have a chance of uh, actually hurting the enemies. So that kind of leaves Archive Inc, which is bad in other ways. Yes, we've got Scorpions and Fireflies and Hornets. We've got the Explodey Scion, whatever its actual name is, Blast, Blast Scion. Uh, which makes enemies explode on death, so again, probably need to target it first so we don't actually kill enemies and block buildings. And we got spiders. I hate spiders. I hate spiders. I think I hate this in-game spiders more than real life spiders, to be honest. Real life spiders don't actually web me to the spot, thankfully. But uh, Let's... On the plus side, there's only one flying enemy there. Well, I guess that's, that's a meaningless observation, right? Apart from Scions, I think the only flying enemies are the Hornets. But anyway, we're gonna have we're gonna have various tidal waves and pools of water and things like that to help us out on archiving. So it shouldn't be too bad, I hope. So let's let's try it. Alright, right off the bat I see a nuisance in that there are three two rep territories but I don't think we're going to get a chance to do all three because we're going to have to do the library to get anything over here then this one, then that one and then one more is going to trigger the end game on, well the end of this island, the corporate HQ coming on the attack so we're not going to get here so I just need to plan around that, that's fine. So we're not going to get 9 rep, we're not going to get our... Unless we get a bunch of time pods, we're not going to get... Uh, 3 reactor cores this time. Let's hope for a bunch of time pods. There is a reactor core here, so it might make up for it. We could potentially get a reactor core from that mission. To make up for one that we can't afford to buy. Either way, let's start off with the library. Defend the artillery support, and protect the coal plant. And right off the bat, we've got 
an alpha scorpion and two ordinary scorpions lots of webbing opportunities lots of um, less than fun things like that oh dear they're going to hang around the middle they're not going to go sit up near the water why would they sit up near the water to make it easy for us to push them in well good news is I do have my mercury fist and I will I will hopefully have fun deploying that where do I want to deploy my units? Maybe? I don't know. Let's find out. I have no idea what the what the vector going to do here. He's gonna attack a building. He's gonna attack the coal plant. Or he's gonna attack another building. Alright! And we have this artillery to help us. It has uh, one movement, which is terrible, but it does two damage to two tiles. That's not really going to help a lot with this set of enemies because that's not enough to kill and it doesn't do any pushes. But that may make it possible for us to kill it after we've hit it. We don't have a blast sign appeared yet, so they're not going to explode on death, so maybe good. I'm actually going to move him back so he's further away from enemies. He's his attack is, like all artillery, does not adjacent, but anywhere else in a straight line. So, PC is back here somewhere, and he's safer. It's not really game changer, but I might as well do it. There's no reason not to do this straight off. We still need to neutralize all three enemies here, so... I need a plan for that. That does mean we have an opportunity now to, say, leap here to kill that one. Bear that in mind. We need to push this scorpion over this way, I think. Now, unfortunately, Stefan can't get around that side, and nor can Chloe. Yeah, so I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that. That's annoying. It's annoying. I can shoot this one with acid. And then come up and shoot him, which will push him but not kill him. But we'll do four damage when we'll sit there. I think he's gonna get his attack up. I don't see I can I can disrupt it only with Prospero. Actually the only way I can disrupt his attack with Prospero is by leaving here and hitting another building. So that's kind of you know, you don't destroy one building to save one other. You might destroy one building to save two, but not just to save one. Um so another opportunity is Throw acid, at, well, throw acid or otherwise push the alpha here, and then leap here to damage, push the alpha into the water and drown it, and damage the other one for one. Not brilliant. That would leave Chloe to come up here and shoot this one. This would still get us attack off, we'd get it on that building instead of that, but it would be damaged. It's a slight, slight improvement. What else? We do have the Repulsor, we do have Prime Fist with single use, but I can push him into the water with two hits. I'm not sure I need the prime to use the Prime Fist on him. What does it look like? Just five damage and push everything around him. There's no... We're not getting any benefit from the push everything around him either. I'd rather save the, um, the damage, to be honest. What if Chloe comes up here? And shoots that one. And then Stefan comes up here, uses Repulse to kill that one and push this one. No damage, no actual benefit, it attacks that building. But that does mean Stefan gets a kill. And Stefan has got four experience total. Chloe's already leveled up once. I should have I should have swapped the pilots around or something, but uh, I didn't. Um so at least, you know, a couple more kills with Stefan would be nice. And that would leave Prospero to come up here and leap at this one to kill it. Yeah, I think that's okay. Chloe now has five hit points, so she can take the hit for the one self damage here. At least in an awkward corner. That's alright, she can still shoot anything that comes in into this area. 
So let's do it. Let's get a kill for Stefan. Five XP. Already he's, uh, you know, approaching halfway to level up. Well, there's, unfortunately, they're not next to each other, so there's no synergy there. I could leap here and kill a building and hurt ourselves to save this building, but I'm going to leap all the way across the map and save the coal plant. And let's hope our 80% is going to save those civilians. Oh, 144 casualties lost. One more grid power lost. Yeah, we're not off to the best start here. <laughs> and we're whipped in twice by the damn spider. We're definitely not off to the best start here. Alright, Alpha Hornet that needs to die. Scorpion that we need to escape. Spider that's not attacking. Spider Lane that's not attacking. That's the only immediate threat. And that's, you know, sort of good news. We have an artillery attack too, which can attack the spiderling or the scorpion. It won't reach the spider. It could, in fact, hit the hornet. But uh, Chloe here doesn't really have a lot of room to move, or a lot of distance she can move, so I think she's going to have to shoot the hornet. And I think we're going to have to throw acid at it first. Because then it will die. So let's, let's begin. That's massive. And then I did want it. That's a good start. What is Prospero gonna do? Obvious thing is to just leap out of here, but to hit the to hit anything useful is gonna damage buildings. It's not great, it's not great. If you obviously can leap to safety and hurt ourselves a little in the process, but you know we hurt ourselves just as much by just sitting here. Um I could Prime Fist, for all the good that does, I kill it. I guess the choice is, do I use the artillery to kill the Spiderling, which I know it will kill, or just to hurt... Just to hurt the Scorpion. We might as well take the Scorpion's attack, there's really no downside. If we just leap, leap to safety, we're getting hurt just as much. So, unless we want to Prime Fist the Scorpion, and I don't know that I want to waste my Prime Fist yet. We have a bunch more enemies next turn. There's two more turns after this. I'm going to want... I might want that Prime Fist on the next two turns. There's no buildings under attack, thankfully, so... Let's just stop that Spiderling threatening any buildings next turn. There's no point repairing. Oh look, I can repair! Um, let's see what happens. Ouch. Okay, so we've got an Alpha and we've got a Blast Scion. Both bad news. And a Firefly. And we're whipped in. Great, thanks. So, that's not brilliant. None of this is brilliant. So this is, did I mention I might want my Prime Fist? This will hurt the Spider, hurt the Firefly, kill the Alpha. Unfortunately it would make the Alpha explode, which would hit the building, kill the Spider, and hurt us. Not, you know, killing the Spider would be great, but uh, I'm not really sure it's worth risking the building for. But maybe we can deal with the Scion first, and then kill the Alpha. At least we do have an instant kill for a 5 unit. 5 hit point unit, which is something I've never had before at this stage of the game, and something that's quite intriguing to me. Now, Chloe is webbed in, so she can hit the Firefly, but won't kill it, although she will kill it if I've done this attack first, because it will have taken one damage. Alternatively, she'll kill it if I shoot acid at it. Well, okay, what else can we do here? can't really get anywhere useful. We can't even get up here to save the building. It's, uh, green Greasy is going to be a little useless this turn, I think. Huh. I don't see how I can kill a blast sale. Well, I mean, I do see how I can kill it. I can just come up here and, you know, 
punch it, uh, and destroy a building in the process, and have this attack go ahead, and have, you know, I'm not sure that's an improvement. <coughs> Excuse me. Punch it from here. Uh, what about, what about my, what about my leap? What if I was to leap, say, here? Building is still under threat. Uh, Saruman is not dead. Scorpion is not dead. Firefly is not dead. Saruman is not dead. These don't look... Scion is dead. Spider is not dead. Uh, Firefly is not dead. What else? Um, Alpha Scorpion is not dead. So the Scion is dead. So the good news is that nothing will explode when it dies, so we don't have to worry about collateral damage to the buildings. Bad news is, I still need... I can kill the spider as well if I do this and then come up here and either push or acid, doesn't matter, um, the firefly into the spider so the spider will die, the sign will be dead, and then shoot the firefly and the firefly will be dead. So these three would die. Bad news is there's two more here that are still attacking buildings that would still be alive. Can the artillery hit anything useful? You can hit that but not kill it. Can I get acid on it? No, I can't get acid on it. Otherwise, it could be a kill. If he moves here, he can also kill the spiderling. Now, if I kill the spiderling, that means Chloe's free to move. Up to three spaces. That's all I move, three spaces. So, she can't get around here at all. So, it's anywhere in here is about as useless as where she's sitting now. If she comes this way, one, two, three... Well, she can't quite get in a position to... To kill this one or shoot him or be useful with this unit either. Right? One, two, three, yeah. And she'd have to sit in acid even to get that far. So, killing this vitaling, is no, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's not going to do anything except simplify stuff for us next turn. thinking, well we've got two attacks going ahead anyway, so can we do better than two buildings being hit? So if I come back and look at this Prime Fist, a Mercury Fist rather, we will, we can kill the Spider, we can kill the Alpha, they both explode hitting two buildings. So unless we kill the Scion, that's going to be worse because we can't deal with them. I can obviously deal with him with Prospero here. Again, right now he would explode. And that the only unit I have that can hit the Scion is Prospero. So if anybody's going to kill Scion, it's got to be Prospero. I think if we don't kill the Scion, we're just going to have too much collateral damage from explosions to do anything else. I just really don't see that there's a better alternative than to get rid of it. And we block a spawn for next time. So we get you know, one less enemy next time. These two attacks, I think, are still going to go ahead, which is not the best. Uh, so we can kill a spider and we can kill a firefly. Can I do better than that? I can... Let's say Green Greasy comes up here and uses acid or repulse on the firefly that pushes the firefly to here no damage but it will be maybe it's acid let's say but it's out of the way and that means we use the artillery to destroy the spiderling and that frees up chloe who can then move to this spot shoot the spider to kill it and also do one damage to the alpha does that help and then she'll take one from the Firefly. No, that doesn't help. That doesn't help at all because we can kill this alpha in one hit. It's just as long as it's got Prospero free to do so. So why not? No. 
Yeah, let's just let's just kill the spider now. Injure. And that, that's instantly a bit more XP for uh, Stefan here. And injure the Firefly. And... Well, so that we're not stuck in the corner, I'm going to do this anyway. That means I can move all the way up here and be in a slightly better position next turn, hopefully, to be of use. At least three movement gets us around the corner. So, we're going to have two attacks on buildings. It's only one building, thankfully, so the fact that it's a three damage attack is not really relevant. We can hope for a dice. One of them may be coming up on a failure. Probably neither. We're probably going to be down to two grid power at the end of this mission, which is, you know, not the best start to this island. Not really the best start at all. 125 casualties. And every one resisted. Okay. So it's not... Could be worse. Well, could also be a heck of a lot better. So... You know how I said I move Chloe so she could get around this corner? Now she needs to be around this corner to hit this bloody uh, nuisance. Because that one's going to hit another building and we can't have that. So although I said, you know, I've got this Prime Fist, Mercury Fist, massive damage on the Alpha, I think I need to now use that on the Scorpion. I don't think I've got another choice but to use it on the Scorpion. Because I can't risk another building here. The Alpha's not attacking a building. So, you know, we've got to... Got to, got to look after the primary objective. Save the civilians. <laughs> Means our artillery is entirely useless this turn. That's fine. It's protected. That's a secondary objective. Coal plant is protected. Let's think about what we can do here. So I can shoot him, push him into the acid, but then I can't... He'll be here. I can't push him into the water. So that doesn't really help. I can acid it. And then shoot it again. But we'll only do two damage to it. So it won't kill it. So if we can't kill it, there's really no, not much point damaging it. We might as well just free ourselves from its grasp. And that's it. There's, there's really no point doing anything else here. Still, the mission is a success. It's a loss of two buildings. A little bit of XP for our uh, our team there. We got one grid power back thanks to the uh, protecting the coal plant. So you know we're down to four now. It could be worse. It could absolutely be worse. So as I said, we're going up here to try and get the reactor core. So we've got another train to defend. Let's go fight off this back. In right off the bat, we have an alpha. We have another scorpion, and we have a blast sound. So right off the bat, enemies are going to explode, so we really don't want that. I kind of want the alpha scorpion to come and stand in front of us, and I want the blast scion to stand somewhere where Chloe can shoot it so we can kill the blast scion, uh, use our amazing fist of five hit points on the alpha. That's what I would like. What's his movement, by the way? Alright, so not, if someone sitting here cannot be webbed, that's good news. I'm supposed to be there, can't be webbed. So, he could come up and web us, but that's alright. We can we can punch him if, if he chooses to do that. Let's see how this works out. Well, he's not going to web us from in front, but he may do it from the side. Alright, uh... That could have been better. That could have been significantly better. So, the only place Chloe can actually shoot the Scion from is somewhere that's gonna injure us. No, that's alright. We do kill it. And I do need to kill it, and I'm gonna have to do that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to do that. Then, I do get to use my Mercury Fist 
one that I could use on there, but it seems a bit, bit of a waste. Better to use it on the alpha after we've killed the blast ion. And that leaves green greasy to come up here somewhere, shoot acid at scorpion and push it out of the way. We'll take two damage on Prospero, one on Chloe, but Chloe's will be uh, healed by the skill. Well, we'll take one damage from this and uh, one damage from... Oh no, wait, Mercury Fist doesn't do still health damage. So we're just going to get healed up. Great. You're healed up because we're going to kill. Perfect. That's beautiful. And he's easy to kill next time. So far, so good. Another scorpion and a bloody alpha spider. And look at that, they're both attacking the train. And the spider's webbed us in. God damn it, you guys. So, how's this gonna work? I don't think I can kill the spider. I can leap here. And that will actually kill one of the scorpions because of the, its acid. It'll take two damage plus one push damage. The spider will take one push damage. The other scorpion will be out of the way and will block a spawn. That's a good start. If I do that, where is Chloe gonna go? You can't really shoot the spider safely because you're pushing into the train. And the train doesn't get grid defense, so it'll absolutely take damage from that. She could shoot that out of the way, then it won't, it won't be dead. But it will be more damaged than merely by Prospero's attack. Um, Prospero's attack will hit it for one and it'll be here. She can't get up behind it. She could block another spawn, but uh, I'm not really sure I want to do that. Now, Stefan can acid, can free himself. I mean, there's no point unless he can't move afterwards, so I'm not under attack by the actual spider with egg. So you know, Stefan's kind of useless to. All we got to worry about these two. So. What if instead, if Chloe comes up here first and shoots that way? Well, that kills the same scorpion and does the same damage to the spider. Now, nah, if that scorpion's going to be dead either way, if one of the scorpions is going to be dead either way, it should probably be the, you know, the one that's still free to move, or at least mostly dead. If the other one's going to die anyway, we might as well kill it more cheaply. Spider's still hurt. He's pretty hurt. They're pretty hurt. I can acid him so he doesn't set the forest on fire, because I probably don't want the forest to be on fire, I think. I don't know. Probably makes no difference, to be quite honest. But whatever, let's do it. Not that acid is going to help kill it. It's already on one hit point. see a real problem with the train where it kind of if we're leaping at things we're kind of wedged in there but he chose to come around the back that's great it means we can leap at him pretty freely or not because we're webbed in dear oh dear oh dear so spiderling needs to die firefly needs to die or be moved out of the way scorpion needs to die or be moved out of the way we're kind of stuck we can leap into acid and hurt ourselves a lot and kill the scorpion and hurt the spider. It's not the worst move because this is the last turn. So, you know, we're down to two hit points, but we have negated the scorpion. Spiderling eggs web doesn't matter, the train will break the web. So we've negated, that'll negate the threat against the train. So that's good. We won't be able to kill the spider, but, you know, we'll be able to hurt it. It'll be 
It'll feel good to have it. The Hornet we can ignore. So we can come up here and just push the Spiderling out of the way. Spiderling's no threat. That leaves the Firefly. Which we can actually kill right now. Actually, we can kill him right now and free up Chloe to make a different move. Without risking the train. So let's do that. So that gives me a little more room to play around with what Chloe might do. Probably still the same move, I think. Alternatively, they could leap there. Still kill the uh, Scorpion. The only difference is we're not going to be covered in acid. Um, I'm just wondering, though, if... No, there's no, there's no better, there's no real improvement. Nothing that Stefan can do to make them better. So Stefan neutralizes the Spiderling, and Frostbro neutralizes the Scorpion. Well, unfortunately, Acid doesn't cause you to heal at twice the rate either. Sadly, just take double damage. But the train is safe. The buildings are all safe. I'll take it. All civilians protected. Two rep for saving the train. Mission success. Now the one we want to defend the satellite launches and protect the robotics lab and it starts with an alpha firefly. So nice just pulls of water everywhere. The satellite launches are handy. When they do launch they kill things around them. Where do we want to start off here? And we started with an Alpha Hornet too, not so nice. Um, oh dear, where do we want to start with? Where do we want to start off? Now Prospero has five movements, so it can actually get around pretty well. And plus the leap can cross the entire maps. So Prospero can actually set back. I'm kind of... Uh, wait a minute, let me think about this. I want enemies to sit here and here so that we have opportunities to push them straight into this pool of water. It's kind of my thinking. So if I stop them coming too far forward... Well, the Alpha Hornet can be a nuisance anyway, but... Uh, ideally, we can kill these two by pushing them into the water. That would that'd be preferable. This water's bad unless we kill the Scion first, because... Uh, it will explode, so we do want to kill a Scion as soon as we can. Let's see what happens. Hello. Well, the Firefly fell for our trap, kinda. The Hornet flies, so pushing into the water is not really an option anyway. And the Blast Scion has been its usual nuisance self. How do we how do we tackle this problem? That's threatening four buildings. That would be instant death for us if they don't resist. Alpha Firefly is not actually threatening anything we care about, so we can just move out of this way. Scorpion there. So we really we have to deal with these two, and we have to kill that one. So although I said you know it'd be nice to push into the water, and we have a perfect opportunity to do so, really don't think we're going to do it. I don't think we're going to push into the water this uh, unless it helps us in some other way. What do we do about the Hornet? So we could come here, for example, and just push the Hornet out of the way. That, that neutralizes the Hornet. Unfortunately, that pushes the Firefly here to threaten the Robotics Lab, and we need, we need that Robotics Lab intact, or we don't get our reactor core. Kinda hemmed in. Chloe doesn't have a lot of space to move, so we might just end up shooting that anyway, but that leaves two enemies. If we shoot that in the water, then Stefan can push the Hornet out of the way. It won't do any damage whatsoever. Well, we could acid it. Uh, but push it here so its attack is harmless. That leaves Prospero to deal with this 
Scorpion. Now Prospero can obviously leap and push it out of the way. Once Firefly's gone, not before. So the Scion will still be alive, and this Firefly will explode when it falls in the water, risking damage to one building. Everything else we care about will be safe. There's so little room to move here, we're just hemmed in. I don't really see another option. What I want is the Scorpion to sit like... Yeah. I wanted to sit in one of these places, but be attacking us when the uh, when the satellite launches, it'll destroy all things around. Now, the satellites do have two hit points, so it could let it take a hit if there's a better better plan here. If I just shoot like that, let's ignore the backblast for the moment. That would not kill the firefly, and it would not kill the scorpion. So that's not brilliant. Because one damage to us, ignore the flashing two. Let's, let's just. Just demonstrate that slightly better. And then we would take another three from the Firefly. That's no good. We'd be almost dead. I am thinking it is still best to kill the Firefly, risk that explosion. Actually, the explosion will actually hit the Alpha for one. That's nice. Uh, risk the explosion destroying the building. Acid the Alpha Horn out of the way to here so we can kill it next turn. And attack the scorpion for one and push it out of the way. Hundred and twenty six casualties. Now the three grid powers is not really shaping up to be our best run. And we leap well I could leap here but that would hurt us, so I'm gonna have to leap here. And set some ground on fire. Okay. See what we do. I don't even know which satellite's gonna launch first. I guess we find out. And it's this one gonna launch first. Please stay there, Scion. Now yeah, we're webbed. Alpha Hornet's being a pain. Spider's being a pain. A little. Other oh, Alpha, we've got a new Alpha Hornet. Great. She's also threatening. At least it's only threatening one building. Blast Scion is not. It's not set to die right now. The blast time was here, it would die, so when the satellite takes off, it will kill the spider force. So we do not have to worry about the spider. We do have to kill the Alpha Hornet somehow. Or at least, at very least, move it out of the way. We don't have to worry about that attack. We do have to worry about this attack. Although it only hits one building. Uh kind of stuck here with Chloe. We can kill a boss sign once we're out of the way here. Maybe we have to. Maybe we just jump this alpha out of the way. So once more it's hitting these spots. Then what? We can kill a boss sign for all the good it does. And we're webbed in here. Where can we leap to? We can leap to there and do one damage to the Hornet. So it hits two buildings. That's not good at all. Um, we can lead to here, push the scorpion around again, but it doesn't do anything for this hornet. Because oh, we've still got prime mercury fist, rather. Mercury fist will hit the hornet, but not actually get it out of the way. It will kill the scorpion. So we won't take damage from the scorpion. I don't like this. I don't like any of this. None of this works out nicely. He's on three hit points, so we cannot kill him. Even if we got him here, we wouldn't kill him with uh, our leap. We would only do two damage to it. So our leap attack seems pretty useless just at the moment. It kind of feel good if the Scion wasn't there to leap and blast the spider into the water, but, you know, it's really no point. Now, I could do this, then the spider will explode, uh, dealing one damage to the satellite and one to the Hornet. I'm not really seeing that as beneficial. Stefan's the only person who can actually reach up here, so Stefan is going to do that, regardless of anything else. Like, we might have to neutralize that one. So the only question is, can I do anything at all about this one? I could leap here, 
if I leap here, we I can destroy this spider egg. Uh, set this forest I'm standing in on fire. So set myself on fire and take a damage. And take a damage with Chloe. But then Chloe will be free to move up to three spaces to do an attack. So can't sit here and shoot it. So I don't see that helps anything at all. She could sit here and tank, but she doesn't tank. Tanking is no point because uh, the attack hits both tiles. So even just sitting in the water is no good. Right now, Chloe can kill a boss sound, which is probably the best move she has available. Alternatively, she can kill the spinaling egg, but uh, we want the boss sound dead, so that's probably what she'll do. Then what? Leap and hit the scorpion for one, or kill the scorpion and hurt the alpha. I think kill the scorpion and hurt the alpha is probably the best bet. There's one more spawn, so the spider will die for the satellite launch, they'll be dead, so we'll have two slightly damaged alphas, and a spider link, and one more spawn, that's... I'd like Mercury Fish to be saved for the alphas, but uh, it does at least hurt the alphas here. So I'm going to take it. Oh shit, I should have... Uh... I really should have killed the Blast Iron first. Ah, oh, the plus side, we did two damage to the Alpha there. That's fine, let's kill that Blast Iron. So... That's it, that's all we can do. Okay, attacks the same place. 126 more casualties, we are down to two grid power. The spider is dead. And we have another Hornet. Great, the uh, Alphas immediately go for the highest possible damage they can do. Nice thing is the Spiderling is not a problem. How can we deal with this? So... I could use a leap to get them out of the way. Okay, it's good to know. I can't... I can't get anywhere I can actually push them with... Stefan. There's our Hornet. We can shoot it, but we Oh! That does four damage, so we will kill it. We'll just get Stefan out of the way first. There's one hit point there, so we can't let that attack go ahead. So we'll have to... We can actually push... Acid that one, push it here, let it kill the spider link for us, I think. What's your movement here for? One, two, three, four... No, we can't. No, we can't. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Damn it, I really should have killed the blast arm first last turn. Then we still have two hit points here and we can tank that attack. Obviously I can kill both the spiderling and, the, and get the hornet out of the way with a single move like that, but then that leaves Prospero unable to be of use against this hornet. And I, I, sorry, I don't think anyone else can get to that alpha hornet. Even uh, with flying, there's just not enough movement. Green Greasy just does not have enough movement points to get there. And that's three damage. That will kill us. You know, that will end our game. So we can't afford the building damage. We can't... We don't want the satellite launch to fail, obviously. But we simply cannot afford... to lose the buildings. It doesn't matter whether the satellite's there or not. If the, satellite, if the buildings are dead, we're gone. The satellites are relevant. So, well, I'm going to do my dramatic leap right across the map, of course. Ta-da! But, uh, man, this, this bald forest here is getting a beating. Um, but we're taking damage, but it's not the worst. Now, it's just... I can't push the satellite out of the way, because, you know, it doesn't push. Uh, so, you know, what is, what, what's going to happen there? There's really nothing useful for Green Greasy to do at all. And the satellite's going to die. Well, that's my fault. I should have killed the Blast Iron first last turn. Then we would still have an active satellite. It's a bit too late. We can't reset last turn. We can only reset the current turn. I don't see we can do anything better on the current turn. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
Wait, no, it's not going to launch this turn. Okay, we're, we're not going to die. I just I just thought we'd put ourselves in the death zone there. Uh, Alright, well, you've got acid for no good reason. Well, I'll shoot it there in case someone walks there. I don't know. Attack the asshole, go on spider link. Well, we failed our second objective. It means we're not getting one rep here, and it means we're definitely not getting our court bonus next turn. Well, in uh, good news, I suppose, we don't have to defend the satellite anymore, so we Chloe can get out of the way and we can just ignore the spy fly. That leaves us with an Hornet and an Alpha Hornet that we do have to deal with. So if Chloe comes back here, she'll be in a position. To, let's get let's give Stefan some XP, shall we? Let's leap across here and kill both those enemies. And then Chloe can kill the Hornet. Ah, the Five Lie will attack the uh, satellite that's already been destroyed. Poor thing. It, it feels it's being helpful. Unfortunately, it's too late. At least the robotics lab is safe, so we did get our reactor core. It's not really a worthwhile trade off. So, not a perfect island this time. We, Which is a real shame. We could really use the bonus uh, plus two power that the court would have given us. Alright, I guess, you know, that's my greed. We were racing for power cores. We didn't really need to. We wanted the reputation of power cores and we fucked up, so. Blame is on me. Right, so I've got one more power core. I could get more movement, which is probably the most useful thing. I could get more damage on the unstable cannon. That does two self damage then, and if it does a kill, it gets one back. Now it then hits for three, so it's more likely to get a kill. So it's still only one net, one self damage. Hmm. I can use one core here. One extra damage. Well, two <laughs> extra damage each on hydraulic legs, but it doesn't seem like the right move. I could get an extra use on the Mercury Fist and have it only do four. Which is not the worst. I'm not sure whether that's better than it doing five. Could get a shield self. I think it's most useful with Chloe. Do I want the kills or do I want the move? Too often we just can't get into the right place, so I think I want the move. Okay, so our power grid is almost dead. Our reputation is besmirched. We're not going to get here anyway, so we've got a choice to do the easy one with tidal waves and a single power grid, and actually shields on the on the places. That should be pretty easy to survive. Lock Vex body three times. Uh, that's kind of tough with our team. We don't. Well, we have we can take damage, I suppose. Air support's good. And battle with less than four mech damage. We're pretty good at that because we do heal. And lots of mines, so the enemies will help kill themselves. And pools of water to knock things in. I think we can do that. Let's hope. Let's hope. Bloody spider. Spider, spider, you gotta step on mine. Alpha, you should step on mine too. I don't care about the others. Um, where are we gonna go? There's one dead. One not dead, sadly. Not dead. Got a nuisance to the spider. Okay, so I can disrupt both of those. Well, they're webbed in, so I can't... Even if we could get up there, we can't uh, actually... To push them out of the way, we can't reach. I can disrupt both with a leap. Doesn't kill anything. And that's one out of our four mech damage already wiped out. And that means the Alpha will attack the mine, destroying the mine. That's not great. 
Unless we can all subsequently push him onto the mine. Being webbed in here is kind of a nuisance. We can free ourselves from it, but it doesn't really achieve anything. We can't actually shoot anything useful with acid. And that leaves Chloe to do what? What can Chloe do that's useful here? Shoot the spider and kill it. Okay, that's some use. Actually, you could shoot the spider from here and kill the spiderling, but that means she takes two self damage, and we do need to end with less than four. She would heal one, so we'd be left with a total of two self damage on our first turn. I don't think that's worth it. Now, if we use the Mercury Fist, it doesn't actually push the Firefly because of the position. Otherwise, that would be the best option. Here, yeah, yeah, very good. Um, so I think we kill the spider first up. I don't know, maybe freeing them to throw acid. Ah, oh, you know what? Freeing this one up to throw acid would have been brilliant and probably worth the cost of one damage. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna use my reset right away. I don't like doing it, but. I I think it's going to be significantly better this time around. Chloe, that was not safe to do, and it's even less safe for you because you're going to take extra damage. But you heal one, so you're on one hit point. Good. Now, Prospero will leap and take one hit point, and I'm not healed. So we're halfway down on this uh, goal, which is not brilliant, but we do get to kill the Alpha Scorpion. And with three new enemies spawning, that's definitely better. Was it worth a reset? I don't know. We'll find out. Another Alpha Hornet and another Alpha Scorpion. Great. We're just not set up to deal with Alphas very well. Well, good news is they're threatening me and I can just get out of the way but with a leap. A single, a single uh, flying leap. Uh, and hurt myself in the process, making it risking this uh, single thing. Who fires first? This fires first and hits them for one, then they fire back, hitting them for three and killing them. So, you know, that does leave this one dead, that one wounded. The Hornet, we can kill. We just need to go up with. With Chloe and shoot it. Okay, so what can what can Stefan do to make this situation better? Stefan can get up here and either use acid or move to free us from this web. That gives us more options on how we attack. If it's acid, then these two still attack each other. And this one still dies. It'll die to either of these two, actually. Uh, if I go here, it's probably safer. That. That means I can I can use my prime fist. What's that what it's called? Prime fist? Mercury fist. I always misremember. Mercury fist. To kill that one. Or I could leap here and kill it. Now if I use Mercury Fist to kill it, the good news is... It's dead. I don't take any extra self damage. I actually heal one, so we're better off on our bonus objective to not take... You know, to take no more than three, less than four damage. They're acid, so they're easy to kill next time. They're dead. Two new spawns. They're dead. I I like this. I think this is not a bad approach. That attack is meaningless. That attack is useful. And this attack is useful. We're, to, what, we're on one mech damage right now. Three enemies to deal with next turn. God damn it, we're about to die anyway.
Hornet and another Alpha. God damn it, with all these Alphas, we just don't have the damage dealing. Oh, we can ignore the Hornet's attack, we can ignore the Alpha Fireflies attack. That's the good news. How do we kill the Alpha Scorpion? We can shoot it for two, but it won't be dead, and we'll take one more damage, which we don't want, but may have to accept. Um, we can definitely throw acid at say that, but it doesn't really help. We can't get around this side. If we could get around this side, we could shoot it to there, and it would die. But again, not to our attack. It would just die to the spawn. So it would be dead, but we would still not get our health back. I can obviously just go and, you know, leap and get out of the way. That might be the right move. It'll take ex it'll take damage from the spawn, it'll take two damage from this, it'll be down to two hit points next turn. And that leaves Chloe free to shoot the Hornet, kill it, and take no both extra damage, net. And Stefan can come up here and acid this one so it's easy to kill. No, we don't need to kill it, we just need to keep it out of business. Uh, if I ignore the fact that this goes to acid, if I leap here, I take one damage from that, I take a second damage from blocking a spawn. Not great. Um, Stefan can't get here to push it in the water. That doesn't can't push it this way with a leap because it's building the way. I could push it this way with Stefan and then leap here and risk destroying a building to drop it in the water. That's not great, but it would be dead. It would at least be dead. If I could just push it here, then we could just let this Alpha Firefly kill it, you know, problem solved. If I'm not going to go there and catch fire, that would be ridiculous. So I could leap and push it there and then acid it that way, or, or shunt it, you know, repulse it that way, that's not any good. These options just don't really work out together. It's not, not the kind of synergy I want with this team. Well, I can neutralize this attack without taking damage. That's good news. But if I'm not taking damage, I've got nothing to do. I, need, I really need to get a kill. I can't risk damaging the building just to, just to drown it. It just makes no sense. Can Chloe do anything useful? Chloe can hit it for four, right? Yeah. But only push it that way. So it still doesn't really help us. It's not a kill. Chloe takes damage. So I do think the best thing we can do is hit it a little bit and block a spawn. And at least Chloe to kill the Hornet. We're on two out of allowable three damage here. And Stefan. Well, we can move a long way away and ask for that one, I guess. We may have an opportunity to kill it easier next turn if it's if it's a problem. Let's see what we get. One enemy will be on fire. And the other one's a bomb. Scorpion is on fire. Okay, we're webbed in. Under attack from two angles, and webbed in there. Great. Good news is, there are no... Oh, it's another alpha. The good news is, there's no new buildings under attack. So really, all we got to do is survive. And here is the best way to begin the survival process. So now we are on our maximum allowable damage, right? Oh no, we got a kill, so we got one back. We're still on two, we're not on three. So Chloe should not shoot that, because then she'll take fire damage. 
Well, at least not from that angle. She can shoot it this way. That'll set the that'll set the ground on fire. Let's shoot it from this way. Yeah. And deal up. Okay, and let's use our repulse. Drop it in the pit of acid. Oh, and finally step a little up for more grid defense. Guys, get useful skills. I need your movement. I need your reactor cores. I need your hit points. I don't need your grid defense. Well, I suppose I probably do. But, you know, three plus three is not neither here nor there. If it was plus five, it maybe be worth worthwhile. But plus three is just weak. On the plus side, we have succeeded at this mission. So we'll get one grid power back. We'll get one rep and live to fight the HQ. We did save all the civilians, so we took no more grid damage. And whatever that was, it's irrelevant to us. We've got no new cores, no new upgrades. Let's go destroy five goos. Now, the goos are pretty weak. The first one's on three, and I think they get that they break up into twos and then ones. So destroying them is probably reasonably doable. That's, I guess, the good news. Bad news is we're not good at even dealing three damage or anything. Right off the bat, the goo goes for the corporate HQ. And the other two go for buildings. Great. Um, he only has one hit point. Who moves first? The goo moves first anyway, so we need to get that goo out of the way. And preferably do so by killing it. We could go tank one damage and Mercury fist it. Not a terrible move. It does mean we're immediately down to the, the next level goose. And we've killed one out of five, and we do save the tower this turn. Alternatively, we could acid it and then shoot it. Which would also kill it. But then we have this firefly attack in the building, and we really can't let it fall if buildings die. We also need to neutralize the Scorpion. Now, again, Mercury first is an instant neutralization. And very tempting. But he's a secondary objective to worry about. Well, technically a primary objective to protect buildings, but we can push him out of the way. We don't have to kill him quickly. We do have to kill five goos. So we do need to attack the goos as quickly as we can. And so I think I'm just going to tank one damage and kill him right off the bat. Two middle sized goos for next turn. We could actually kill one this turn if I wanted. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do. For starters, let's get him out of the way. And yes, why not? Let's let's kill one of these right off the bat. Two baby goos. We've got three goos. An alpha scorpion. He just got out of the a firefly and two new enemies. We're gonna have a hectic turn next. Let's see how bad it is. Ouch. That's an alpha spider. Great. So we're gonna be unable to move. Great. I have a bunch of blobs to deal with. Oh dear, this is bad. Oh god, this is bad. Alright, so... Let's have a look. Okay, good news is the spider decided to neutralize the firefly. I think that's the only good news we have. I think that's the only existing good news. We have the blob threatening to step on a building. We have another blob threatening to step on two buildings. And another blob trying to use seven buildings. So that's four buildings under attack with only three grid power before we lose. So, you know, the other thing is buildings, as far as I know, can't resist blobs. The blobs move and crush. So the grid defense is irrelevant there. 
That's why they've got these big skulls on them, these blobs of death. Uh, so, unless we deal with the blobs, we're, we're dead. We can kill one of them and kill a building behind us. That's not really a save. I can't leap anywhere to get at them. There's just nowhere to leap to because of where they decided to sit. I can't push them around because we're whipped down. Probably can't actually get anywhere else useful, so we could kill that one instead of that one. But this is actually more of a threat because it's going to hit two buildings. If we kill that one, at least we take two good damage tops and maybe you know, and have a chance of surviving to next turn. If we can deal with the firefly. God damn it. God damn it. There's a move to do there, but that just pushes enemies around and doesn't actually free her from the web. So, Stefan, sorry, him, Stefan is going to die unless the scorpion dies first. I just don't see any way for that scorpion to die. I do see a way to stop this attack happening, and that's to leap here and push the spider in the way. And then he catches fire. Great. So we'd have... A dead Stefan. One building here that we backed into a knockdown. And hopefully resisted, otherwise we're dead anyway, because these two blob buildings get stepped on. We'll have one dead blob. Oh my god. To so say, the good news is, we don't have to worry about the spider link, because this firefly will kill it. It's the only single piece of good news that exists. Is there a way to kill... Uh, if we go here, then yes, we have a chance to kill this Alpha Scorpion off the bat at the risk of one building damage. Does that help? So that means our primary attack, this unstable cannon, is uh, used up for this turn. But we do have a free Stefan. If Stefan is free to move, Stefan can do a push. Can do a push in, you know, four directions, but these blobs are not lined up anywhere that would be useful. We can push one into another and still kill one, but that's that's exact, basically the same as this. Without the backblast. But we've done the backblast equivalent by pushing him there, so that adds up the same. One blob dead. Um, two blob attacks still going, one building up you know, three buildings at risk. One from us, two from the enemies. It's a slight improvement over four, but not by much. Not, not significant. So let's see. If this blob is dead, then I can actually leap into the spot, which would hit that building and that building for one, and hit that for one. Killing that blob. But that's, you know, two building attacks. That's already three building attacks. One from Backblast, two more from Elite. That's no good. Even if I could get free, my Prime Fist is used up, so I can't Prime Fist this one to get out of the way. And we still have this attack to deal with. God damn it. I think, I think we are screwed. I think we are really badly screwed here. And the only... There's two options. One is to attack with Chloe here, and the other is to use Chloe to attack here. Which is slightly better because it means Stefan doesn't die for certain. If we just leave Stefan there, Stefan is dead. And this building is not guaranteed to die. It could survive the Scorpion being pushed into it. It could survive the Firefly hitting it. You know, 21% chance of each of those. That's... Uh, 1 in 25 chance of both happening. These buildings are doomed. So there's a 1 in 25 chance, you know, 1 in 25 chance, not percent, 1 in 25, that we will survive to the next turn. But it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. Oh wait, no, it's, it is one in five because 
Prospero is not going to leap there. That's that's just ridiculous. Two, we'd risk killing two buildings to save one. Yeah, we've already saved this building by killing that blob, so we're not going to risk again. <coughs> so Prospero leaps here. But the spider takes five less hit. So that means we're down to a one in five chance of surviving next turn. And we will know if we can survive till next turn. If the building manages if the building resists this hit, we survive to next turn. If the building collapses when the scorpion gets pushed into it, then we're all doomed. I need to do this first though. Fuck. Not that. I need to do that before I move, Chloe. Alright. Let's do that first. Oh great, now he's on fire. Oh well, such is life. So. One in five chance. That we can survive to next turn. We're doomed. We are totally doomed. There's just no two ways about it. Uh, no, I'm not going to push them into fire. We're screwed. Two more buildings are going to die. That's our last two good defense. We lose. On this turn. Well, we we tried. We had a... I won't even say we had a good run. We didn't have a good run. This is the second island. We had a terrible, terrible run. We got a lovely weapon out of it, but it's not, you know... But it's not enough to save the world. Let's watch us die. Oh, goodbye, Spiderling. Goodbye, casualties. Goodbye, timeline. Game over. Well. Timeline lost. Select one pilot to continue the fight in your next timeline. Well, it doesn't really matter because uh, I am ending the series now with this game. So this has been 18 episodes of... And that's more than 18 hours. That's probably like 22 hours or something crazy. Uh, two hours alone on this one game. We secured one island. We saved 12,000 civilians only for them all to be devoured by the mech. I'll, I'll click Prospero anyway. It doesn't matter, but... Uh, well, there we are. That was Into the Breach. We had a bunch of successes. We had a bunch of failures. Most notably, this most recent. We tried to see, you know, trying out the hazardous mechs that do self-damage. I'm a little misled. It says they have spectacular damage output. But uh, I wouldn't call that spectacular, and I wouldn't call that spectacular. That's okay. That's decent. You know, if they had more damage output to trade off their self damage, then I would agree with that adjective. But uh, I feel a little. a little misled. Doesn't matter. I'm sure it is possible to beat the game with them on hard. You just need a little more luck and probably a little more thought. We, we definitely took some missteps in that last game that hurt us. Uh, so, with that, it's time to say goodbye to Into the Breach. I don't know if I'm going to stream any other games. I'm going to have to make that up as I go along. But uh, we're done with Into the Breach. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the game. There's, you know, there's four more squads here that I've not even looked at with this team. I believe there's also a secret squad, maybe? I've heard rumors. Um, so there's definitely more to be seen in the game. I've only been playing on normal and hard, which, you know, I think a hard game is more fun to watch because you're more likely to see, you know, the player fail spectacularly and as an audience you can just enjoy the uh, Schadenfreude and not actually have to deal with the fact of losing yourself. Uh, I did play one game off camera on easy and there was a lot less enemies. The score's reduced by 50%, but who cares about the score? There's less enemies, less alphas, you know, if normal is, if you do buy the game and normal is giving you difficulty, definitely go give it a try on easy instead as you uh, figure out the best way to manipulate your, your squad to destroy the enemies. Uh, but that was a hard run and it was hard enough that we died. 
we didn't even get any of the achievements for the squad. Uh, so it was that was pretty bad a lot. The only way it could have been worse is if we'd failed on the first island. So at least we got to the second island. So anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I will hopefully see you sometime in the future.